zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me today, I'm filming this video from Old Town. It's just about three miles down the street from Disney World or so. Um, it looks a little bit dead right now, as you can see. Not too much traffic here, uh, but it really livens up at night. It's pretty much like the, the, the local hangout for the baby boomers. Now, don't you hate it when somebody who is dumber than you are, uh, not as smart as you are, perhaps not even been in business as long as you are, is making more money than you? Uh, it's pretty frustrating, isn't it? Now, it's downright ridiculous when that person is only seven years old. Now, because of the way the economy has changed, this technology, because of this culture shift, there's things that you're doing in your business and not getting paid for. Now, at one time, it didn't matter if you did it or not, you still didn't get paid for it. However, because again, the way that this culture shift has, 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 has changed, the way that things have changed, there are individuals who are doing these things and capitalizing on it and getting paid for it. So again, look at this seven-year-old kid. Uh, he's made $1.3 million at only seven years of age by capitalizing on things that you're currently doing, uh, again, but not getting paid for it. Now we're going to talk about more about him later in some of our, our future videos. Uh, we really don't have time to talk about that right now, um, but show you later in later videos on how you can capitalize on it. Now again, because of this culture shift and the way that the things have changed, the way that the economy has, has changed, uh, there's things that, you know, there, was that there, was that there used to be this expression, there's no such thing as free, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, however, because this new economy way the, that things have changed and the culture shift has changed, um, that's an obsolete idea now. So there's things that you're doing in your business right now and you're not capitalizing on it and not getting paid for it. Now on the other hand, the seven-year-old kid capitalized on it and so far he's made $1.3 million by doing it. There's a gentleman by the name of Tim Carter. He runs a handyman business. Uh, maybe some of you are running handyman businesses. Um, but now that he's become aware of some of these income streams in his business that he can now capitalize on, according to the Google website, he's been able to make $30,000 per month Again, by finally capitalizing on these areas of business that he's now aware of that he was at one time losing. Now in some of our future videos, we're gonna show you the, some of these methods that uh, the seven-year-old kid used to make $1.3 million as well as what Tim Carter did to uh, make an average of about $30,000 per month. Uh, and we'll show that to you in some of our future videos. But to kind of get you a, a fast start on some of this stuff, there's something else that I wanna show you here today. Um, that will help you to start implementing these type of strategies. So as we mentioned before, either through the, phone, the telephone when we talk to you on the phone or maybe throughout this video series that, that we're a community service that takes part in different initiatives to help to spur on the economy, help to spur on business growth, job growth, help out the, the small and medium sized business communities. Now we know what makes people successful. We have uh, research, we've got $1.5 billion in research of what all the world's most successful businesses have in common. So one of those things that makes people successful is educating themselves, you know, developing themselves, self-improvement, working on themselves, helping themselves to become more successful. So one of the individuals that we've partnered up with has a self-improvement and uh, business radio show. And so what they're doing is they're paying us as an incentive to kind of motivate us to listen to this stuff so that, that it, we're, number one, it's going to help our business, but number two, we're going to be able to get paid for doing that. Now you might ask, how is that possible? How are we able to listen to this radio show and how are we actually able to get paid? On your drive home from work or from the office, you listen to the radio and you normally don't get paid, do you? Come home uh, from a busy day at work and you just want to relax or you're going to sit down and watch some TV, right? And there's advertising on the on those stations, um, but the advertising we don't get paid for. The you know whoever owns that media channel is the one that, that actually makes that profit of that money. The only difference here is we're earning a percentage of the advertising revenue. So the advertisers are are are, are spending money to advertise on this radio show. The radio show keeps its, its percentage, which is about 33 um, percent. Then they're also paying us 33 percent if we're the only ones listening to it. Now, if we refer anybody to listen to it as well, um, we're earning their 33% for a total of 66%. Now, you might ask, though, how are they able to do this? How are they able to afford this? Now, first of all, I want you to understand that this is not a new idea. You know, Google and YouTube, this is, this is their entire business model. This is how this seven-year-old kid made 
$1.3 million. This is how this candy make man makes an average of $30,000. This is not a, a new idea, but it is a new idea when it comes down to radio and TV advertising. So these advertisers understand how much that they're making for every visitor, everyone who's listening to this radio show, everyone who's watching this TV show. They understand how much that they're making per visitor and thus understand how much that they can pay in advertising for each visitor. Now online there's a thing that is called as an earning per click. It basically explains how much money that you're making per every visitor that you have on your website. Um, same thing here with this radio show. They understand what is their what, how much that they're earning per visitor and the amount of time that that visitor is staying on their web, uh, staying on the show. So they understand that and thus that's how they can afford to pay us to watch the show. So first of all, first thing that I want to have you do is sign up for your free account and if you look either on the side of this video or directly below underneath this video, you'll find a link that you can go ahead and sign up. So first of all do that, go ahead and create your account. Now once you log into the system, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice the these rotators and it's going to look like how much money that you're actually making. Now, um, those are those, that's not actually money, that's actually credits. Now when you make about 250,000 credits, those credits are reduced redeemable for cash, which uh, 250,000 credits equals $50. Okay, so as you can see here, we had to do a little bit of a locations change. Um, but as we were mentioned, this is a system, this is uh, re revealing hidden income streams that are in your business that you're not capitalizing on. This isn't obviously something that you're going to retire with, however it is an income that's going to help you to finance some of the other expense expenses in your business. Um, as we scale this up, you might even ha be able to keep 100% of every, every dime that you make from your business as profit. And we'll explain how we do that later in future videos, but um, just real quickly before we go on to that, uh, there's a chiropractor, and we'll explain this later, in, like I said, in, in future videos. And Dr. David Peach, and he runs two chiropractic offices, and 100% he keeps every penny from each and every one of those businesses because of incomes like this. These are little hidden streams of income in his business that most of you have, but you're not capitalizing on. In other words, these are things that you're doing, but you're not capitalizing on. So let's kind of look at how much, let's look at what you would get paid on something like this. So again, number one, we would suggest you to sign up for it. You click on the little link below, sign up for it, logged in. The longer that you're logged in, the more that you're going to get paid. So you're, be, you're being paid through advertising revenue for uh, every second that you're logged in. So here's, here's basically the, the way that this would work. Now, let's say if you stayed logged in 24 hours a day, now we understand that not everybody's going to do that, and most likely uh, you're not going to stay logged in for 24 hours a day, but let's say that you d did do that. Now, one of the other questions that I like to ask business owners is, do you know things that new or already existing business owners don't know? And if you do, this is where you can uh, capitalize and charge premium prices. Now, with that being said, if we, if we look at, like, you know, big, big Fortune 500 companies, this is why a lot of you are having hard times is because uh, you don't really understand uh, where the money is coming from. And let me kind of uh, give you a context for that, okay? So you look at McDonald's, okay? McDonald's makes 80% of their money from their franchises, even though it's only a small percentage of their customer base. You look at Disney, uh, again, 80% of their revenue comes from uh, offering services to entrepreneurs and to businesses. So, uh, and, and relativity, or in, and looking at the whole scope of it all, uh, the, the the thing that we're they're most well known for is really where they're making the least amount of money. So let's kind of look look at this again. Let's say that you are logged in to this to this website. You stay logged in 24 hours a day, and you refer 10 people, uh, and they did the same thing. So that's 20, that's 75 dollars per month. Um, that's not a lot, but you know it's enough to pay for a phone bill or pay for some advertising, run a, a newspaper ad or something like that. Obviously, if you do a hundred, uh, that's seventy seven hundred and fifty dollars per month. So then we're just, we're scaling it up, up a little. Um, if you're doing email marketing or know people who are doing email marketing, uh, a list of about a thousand people is a very very small list, but that's an extra seventy five hundred dollars. You know most it. it 
most email marketers have lists of you know 10,000, 100,000 and so it, as you can see if you were doing something like that that would be in the range of about $75,000 now let's look at it as if you were uh, just staying logged in during your workday and again uh, you know things that new or already existing business owners don't know you could help them and uh, let's say that they're staying logged in for, for 12 hours a day okay there's 10 of them that's seventy. Uh, that's thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Again, not a lot. It's not rocket science. It's not going to change the world, um, but you can use that to pay for some of your expenses because you're going to be logged on to your computer anyway. You might as well capitalize on it and make a little bit of change, right? You know, if you saw some change, uh, you know, if you saw thirty, thirty, forty, fifty bucks laying on the streets, you'd pick it up, wouldn't you? So stay logged in and pick up, uh, pick up the lost change that people are losing. Now again, if you had 100, that's about 375 bucks. Not a lot, but hey, it's able to help you to finance some of your business expenses. But now let's scale it up. Now let's say that you had a thousand. You know, that's that's uh, that's uh, three. Oh, that's over 3,700 bucks a month. And if you had 10,000 or even 100,000, like some of these big email marketers do, um, that would be over 37,000 dollars per month. That would help you. Um, we we're, As we go, continue here, we are going to reveal some other uh, tools and some other technology things that, that uh, places like Google and YouTube and, and other companies are doing, utilizing the same type of, of um, hidden income streams that you can capitalize on your business. But I do hope this information has been helpful. Uh, hit us up if you have any questions. Uh, again, we're going to... Uh, one of our, your, our consultants is going to be uh, contacting you in the next couple of days. If not, you can contact them. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And uh, just go ahead and click on the little link down below directly underneath this video. And you can get started. It's absolutely free. Nothing to buy, nothing to sell. But take care, everyone, and we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye now.